It was exactly this moment when Google told me that the National Museum of Scotland happens to be in Edinburgh and the entry is absolutely free. With a rating of 4.8 on Google, it was a no-brainer to visit the place and see what's the fuss about. to Sainsbury and Poundland so I'm gonna show that what we got I really like this recyclable bag and the print is beautiful so I got this and then I got two gift bags because we're gonna go see our family after and we're gonna definitely put some stuff in there we I got like eat real with kale tomato and spinach chip the straws we got um, Monomasa chip 
chipotle and lime flavored chip and I definitely checked the ingredients everything was great and then I got smoky barbecue crunch and in the sweet stuff this is all Sainsbury guys like sorry the two gift bags are from Poundland but food stuff is all Sainsbury then I got one dairy milk fruit and nut some Maltesers can we eat this now? no <laughs> And you can have some some of these. Then I got you Snickers because you really like them. And these are the receipts for how you can show them later. But how much it can cost, like from Sainsbury and from uh, Poundland. So then from Poundland, I got some loofahs. Sorry, there are a lot of my stuff too, which I couldn't bring from Canada. I got these uh, soft pocket tissues because we are going on a long journey and everything and then i got uh this polo from sainsbury polo. but rest of it is from this rest of it is nice. from the thing and i got some i love polo you don't get pets. polo in canada right we do we do i have never seen polo in canada i got it in canada too and you were very intrigued okay, okay. and then i got what's this these are cotton pads like to remove makeup and nail polish and i got the remover too so these are cleansing wipes for the face and then i got sorry these are a lot of girly stuff too but okay, this fine. is like one pound this big bottle like i couldn't find a smaller so one this is nail polish remover because the weight goes up right so these are common oh, things so that you're just gonna use all of this here and basically throw them before going i'm not gonna I'm, i won't be able to use all of them here but yes this bottle i won't take back okay. this one like i'll use whatever and i can leave with zakidi if she will do it or use it or not i got myself a black nail paint do you want any lights here? No, I got one maroon one and I wanted to nail my paint black and this was one pound. I was like, yeah, let's do it. Okay. I got tea tree oil. This is really good for breakout. It's not even breakout. Zabardusti you shop in Liberia. No, no, no. This stuff is really good. Not Zabardusti. Why would you say that? And this is for our laundry, which we're going to do in Portree because we have our, our own laundry there. And Fahad, you may need it. And then this one I got for the plane. So I can be going trans and back. While Hina proudly showed me her shopping spree, in my mind I was thinking what else can we do in or around Edinburgh today. My search was short-lived as I stumbled upon the fourth bridge, a railway bridge 14 miles west of Edinburgh that is also considered a Scottish symbol. So this right here is the fourth bridge. Log is often confused karte hain is bridge ke saath. Ye wala jo basically road bridge hai. It's not the one jo famous hai. Basically ab ye bhi famous ho gaya cuz to be honest this is quite good looking as well. And there's a third one there too. So basically there are three bridges. Hum abhi is middle wale ko cross karke aayenge jab mere samne jiske upar lights blink kar rahi hain. With our Edinburgh checklist all checked off, it was time to head back and recharge for our upcoming Scottish adventure. But you know what they say, late night biryani cravings can't be ignored. So I couldn't resist making a pit stop at a kebab shop in the city centre for some late night munchies. Mm -hmm. 